Texas State of Mind Initiative really wants to bring front and center to the public's understanding the depth of the mental health needs in our state. We've developed five key principles to guide the work of this institute uh, in public policy. The first principle is behavioral health care systems must be understandable and accessible to the citizens that they serve. We have a mental health system that operates on what I call an emergency room basis. We wait till somebody shoots somebody or somebody stabs somebody or somebody's in deep, deep depression and they commit suicide. We need to develop a system that doesn't rely upon the jails and doesn't rely upon emergency rooms. And we believe in treatment before tragedy. The second principle is that the state has a key role in assuring accountability for the performance of that system and responsible use of taxpayer dollars. Through the Texas State of Mind Initiative, our goal is to affect change in the area of behavioral health by examining how their systems can improve with uh, respect to uh, value to the consumer and good services as well as cost effectiveness. We need to make sure that taxpayers get their money's worth, and that means we need an efficient system, an effective system. And so what we can do is go in and say, okay, where is this not working efficiently? So not only serve how it serves um, consumers, but at what cost? The third principle is that local communities are best situated to do the planning for service delivery. In a state this large and complex and diverse, we really need to have local entities, local mental health authorities, local county governments, hospitals, working together. By connecting community leaders, um, community providers, and advocates, and consumers, people who experience mental health issues. Our fourth principle is that data, the right data, and the right metrics must be used to evaluate the performance of the system. We need to make sure that we're monitoring how we're helping people. Does it help? Meaningful ways to measure their progress and to measure the outcomes of care so they know if what they're doing is working. And our fifth principle is that we need to focus intently on creating the workforce that's needed um, to serve the behavioral health needs of the state of Texas. One of our greatest challenges is workforce. You can build great programs, you can um, put lots of money into programs, and if you don't have anyone to deliver the services, it's not gonna work. And we think if you can put all those pieces together, then that's how you help folks change. And it's, it's not easy, and it's complicated. But we think Texas communities um, and Texas leaders are ready to take that on, and we're ready to help them do that.